Go ahead. Hit that and put my chat out over here so I can see it. Good. Cool. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Irvin. Uh, I will be taking over Sam's class for the day with a Wireshark CTF. Here's the shenanigans about me, but the real big thing is I'm a troublemaker. Uh, learned by the ways of Sam. I deny everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, a note, I will probably be moving between screens rather than sharing my whole, uh, my whole screen because I have a 43 inch TV. So that might look small on your end. So I'm gonna be moving between shares throughout this. And if that bugs you, because I know it bugs me when people do that, I go into Zoom and I uh, make this setting change under share screen to maintain the current size. That way, no matter what, before whatever new share is happening, it doesn't affect your end, it stays the same. So the game is at wireshark.baycyber.net. And I will stick that in the Zoom chat. It's also already on uh, Sam's website. A couple things to note. First, you need Wireshark for this. I started using CloudShark. It kind of sort of works. You can do some of the problems, but not everything. I highly suggest installing Wireshark if you don't have it already. Secondly, all the files that you need for the game will be available either at either one of those links, either up at the top in the bar or down over here. The questions themselves will say what file to open, but they won't have a link to the file. And then lastly, in order to register, you need to click on that link up there. Uh, right now it's set up as Teams. You can definitely work by yourself and it, have a team of one, or you can team up with others and do it that way. Either way, it's all good. So the way this CTF is organized is we have it in three categories. We have the beginner, the intermediate, and the Wireshark labs themselves. The questions are grouped. So for example, in beginner and intermediate, the thousands and the hundred, uh, the 1100s are one group. So ideally, if you do the beginner thousands, you should then be able to do the intermediate 1100s and so on and so forth. The Wireshark lab category correlates with each other. So for example, all the one X's are groups and the two X's and so on and so forth. Feel free to go nuts across the the CTF, don't feel that you have to stick to one category only. I will be going through the beginner category. And so if you feel confident and want to try the intermediates or the labs, go for it. There is nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Any questions? I see none. So now time to start jumping between shares. That's the lecture for the day. Okay. Here's the CTF with the bajillion questions. Like I said, I'm going to stick with the beginner. And I'm going to open up Cloud Shark in a new tab. That way I can download whatever file I need. So the very first question is 1001, the world of network analysis. Uh, for most of these in the beginner category, I give you something to read. Uh, for example, in order to do network analysis, you need to have an understanding of networking. Otherwise, you're, this is just going to blow over your head. Uh, you have, you'll gain an understanding and comfort of Wireshark through the CTF and also uh, familiarity with the packet structures. But before starting this, you need to have an understanding of networking. Otherwise, this will, this will not all work. The first thing you'll need to do is open this file. HTTP Wireshark download slow. So on CloudShark, we just scroll down to find that file. HTTP download slow. Wireshark download slow. There it is. You can click on this little I right here. And then you'll have a download button. And then you select download the original file. 
most of these are short, so it'll be quickly, it'll be a quick download. And then we can open it up in Wireshark. While that happens, we can check out this question. Once you open it, you'll see something similar to this. In the trace file, you see that the client makes a TCP connection to wireshark.org and then sends a get request asking for the default page, which is just the, the slash in packet 10. So I'm going to open up Wireshark. And you see right here in packet 10, there is the get slash for the main page of the site. The question here in this first one is that what packet does the user request slash download? So looking at the info section, the info column, if we can see this information, we should be able to find the one packet where, the, where there's the request for slash download. Once you see it, that packet number is the question, is the answer, sorry. Uh, could you say again where to find the questions? Once you are signed in to the CTF, you'll go under challenges. And like I said, you may need to make a team and you can make a team of one, that's perfectly fine. Then scroll down, down to the beginner and click on 1001. And the file that we're working with is this one, HTTP Wireshark download slow. You'll open that in Wireshark. And we're answering the first question of where did, in what packet does the user request slash download? So using packet 10 as the example that we see here, the get for the slash, we'll just need to honestly just look through and see where do you see slash download? That packet is the answer. And it is just the number. You don't need to do anything else, just the number. So here's another example of it getting a slash image slash slogan. getting more pictures, at some point you'll find the slash download. Once you find it, enter the packet number that is the answer to the first question. And then we'll see you on the board. So let's see who's first. And actually I could remove these teams because they've finished playing. Oh, look at that. I see 26 teams. Maybe I should stop recording at this point for the first bit, eh? That's fine. Okay, we can break it up into little chunks.